So here's the, uh, I don't call it the basement or the walkout or the main floor. Mm -hmm. Like to me, that seems like the main floor, although yes. it's the second floor. Because you do come off street level. Yeah. Yes. Right? This is underground, I would say. Yeah. Yeah, we call Under this we call this a walkout. Walkout. A walkout basement in Canada. Walkout, like walkout. Walk out, like you walk. Out. walk. <laughs> yeah, it's a walkout, walkout. <laughs> Now you walk out your basement and you don't have to like go up the stairs. Right. So a lot of times it's like on a hill, so the street's up here and this, it slopes yeah. and you build a walk out and you can do something like ah, this. Okay. But I mean, yeah. it's a little more modern. Yeah. So it's like they renovated this for sure. Yeah. But this again is nice because, you know, the first thing I notice here is there's a kitchen. Yeah. Yeah. This is so a full house, house in here. It's a big kitchen, huh? Again, if you're like splitting with a couple different families, and let's say, you know, you just have a day where you're just kind of, everyone's just doing their own thing. You know, one family's got their own kitchen, another family's got their own kitchen. Both places are equally nice. That's maybe just a little bit more. Um, they got the surround sound in the. That's right. And all well, that, right? I think here the dome. Would be what you have is the access direct. But then you're right to the pool. To the pool. Yeah. So you kind of like people that want to be shaded, you know, they can stay here and hang out and do their thing and then other people are just hanging in the pool. Yes. So it's, it's kind of, uh, and you feel together, right? It's very, it's the same quality as upstairs. The only thing different down here is you just have a little bit more of a modern design. Yeah. Okay. Um, whereas upstairs is a little bit more traditional Mexican. Yes. Yeah. They've kept some traditional elements like you yeah. have the, the wood trim and the ceiling. But they went a little bit more clean and modern here, which yeah. I, I think We're that's still fine. Keeping in tone with the rest of the house. Right. I like this wall so much. Like it's, I mean, like he said, mm -hmm. the style is just different from what I'm used to. Uh huh. So when I visit an Airbnb, it will be like you enjoy different things, right? Yeah. So this is an area that is pretty cool too. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter if you're upstairs or downstairs. This is, uh, this is the dream. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is very peculiar because it has arches, right? Which you wouldn't expect in a home. You would expect that in a boutique hotel. Yeah. That's why I think Joe has this. Uh, you mentioned before, like it feels like someone else is gonna come in and you know hanging around and all that. And this is a house that has that feature, which is very impressive. But it kind of matches, right? Like it does. It, it makes sense. It's perfect. It, it, it completely makes sense yeah. what they've done. Because I've seen people try to do this again in Canada, and it's like so dumb. It makes no sense because the rest of the home doesn't go with this. Yeah. That's like they'd have this, yeah. but nothing else, <laughs> like the beautiful fence and the stonework yeah. and yeah. the tile and everything else, right? And then you have so much hanging areas, like let's walk that way. Yeah. And there is a fire pit that's coming. Yeah. Here. You can see it from here. Which people would say, oh, why do you need a fire pit in Mexico? Well, it when it gets here. down to two or three degrees <laughs> yeah. in the winter, like, I would love to spend a Christmas here. Yeah. Can you imagine the Christmas holiday? Oh, this would be I great. Oh, yeah. It's yellow. Why is there a green here? I mean, yellow. I think, they're, I think they oh, are the yellow. Oh, orange ones, so maybe these are. These are oranges, huh? They're oranges. Mandarin. Don't pick them. Okay. There's firewood. Yeah. This this looks at oh, the rest of the good. development, right? The yeah. Coto. Oh, OK. The neighbors. Oh, and let's, it lets the breeze through. Uh -huh. Right? Feel that? Feeling jail, in a pretty jail. Yeah, it's a beautiful jail to be in. Yeah, you don't even feel in a coto here. No. Like in a development. No. Very nice. I mean, sometimes in Mexico, there has been developments around old Antigua. So like there could have been like an old wall that was here. Mm -hmm. And then they just kind of made this a development and people built on top. I don't know if that's the case. If it isn't, they've done a really great job of actually making this appear to be old. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like this obviously is a new touch. Yeah. But like you look at the wall and, and look this at the, and all this nice stonework. Yeah, like the little bricks stuck yeah. in there and all that. I don't they didn't do this back in the eighteenth century. Like that just wasn't a detail. Yeah. It was more like this. Yeah. Right? But this still has a nice look to it. Do you, yeah. you know what I mean? It's not it has imperfections. Right. And, and we so, appreciate from sitting in there, we yeah. appreciate that there's this round cut. Yeah. To actually have a view of the green areas That's right. behind the house. Right. right. You could look Which, beyond the house, you're not just yeah. looking at the wall. You don't feel enclosed. Right. So that's nice touch. Very too. cool idea to put that there. Yeah. And then the greenery inside. I mean, you have all sorts of different types of trees. 
<laughs> it is looking like around the pool you have these benches that are decorated with tile. Yeah. Oh, you like that. What's that? Let's go have a seat on the bench. Oh, yeah. And that's the hand painted I tile. Looked at, I looked at this bench and I said, this looks so cool. It's a little hot. <laughs> it's a hot bench? <laughs> My bum is, that's why my bum is cooking. <laughs> well, if you sit on something wet, you can come and sit here and dry it off. Where are we right now, huh? Yeah. I don't know, you could be anywhere in the world. Yeah. Very nice. So this is another water feature over here, Joel. Yeah, and That's a nice I, little pond. It's awesome, and there's uh, the Virgin de Guadalupe. Yeah. And, you know, this, this beautiful you know, piece of chapel? art, but yeah. also a uh, religious symbol. Yeah, right? and, it, and it lights up at night. I almost missed no something. Idea. This house is so big. We almost missed it. We thought it was like a garden cool. area. Like a gardener's shed. Because the door seems like not like a demarcado door. Right. There it is. Alright, well, Daniela, good eye. We thought this was like a pool house, but it looks like a Temescal. Yeah, I'll we'll have to use this later. Look at all these things like uh, indigenous? Yeah. Like Aspen or something? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Well, everyone's getting rid of their bad energies. Their bad energies, right? See. We should try to do that later. Oh. You guys should. How do you do it in here? I don't know. I don't know how you turn it off. I mean, there's a shower, like, yeah. To that, don't do it. Don't pull on it. But I'm just trying to think show. where is the where where's the heat source? Yeah. There is a pipe right there. So maybe they have a thing that comes in and I think that's just connects right? to it. And then heats it all up. I think so. Yeah. And then you could ride your bike in here. And you could do some exercise, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, well let's uh, go upstairs and mm -hmm. uh, check out the rooftop. Let's do it. Yeah. yeah. I was gonna try to juggle. Not gonna work. Okay. I got my my <laughs> my limes that are oranges. What a nice bar and terrace area. Yeah. Pretty cool. Sky bar. The view is nice. Sky bar. Yeah. And it's got the big TV back here. Uh -huh. <laughs> basically thought Watch of it the all. Game. Yeah. yeah. So nice. I even like that wall. I would say is that a color wall? Yeah. Yeah. Like a little green wall they made with the plants. Yeah. And then, uh, as a guy, you know, don't mean to be sexist, but would you like? I do like to get my barbecue on. Let's see here. Oh yeah, see. So uh, you can. So that works. Yeah. So you can bring it down and sear your meat, and you can bring it up. Yeah. Really cool. That's cool. And it's like you even got a hood fan, or and at least a vent. Right. Yes. And it's also like you know modernly decorated, but still keeping a Mexican style. Look at this. That's another uh, fire pit. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it's gas powered too. Look at these tiles. Yeah. Oh. Really cool. Yeah. What a nice hangout place. And then you have great view. I want to come here when it's cold. Yeah. You know? No, I, I, I mean, it would be the perfect time. To yeah. Me, like spending like a Christmas here would be so awesome. Yeah. Because it just you just have that little bit of chill to make it feel like Christmas. Yeah. But not freezing. Yeah. Like, That's you right. enjoy being outdoors right. with the cold weather, but then you have the fire pits. You enjoy the warm pool. So what do you guys think? What is your uh, your favorite part of the house? I don't want that, to answer that question in this one. You don't want to answer that? It's too big to kind of like decide. Yeah. I would say maybe outside, like in yeah. the in the pool area. Or that, yeah. What, you're what looking you? all around, and the greenery is just so pretty. They even have a pond, and you know, it's just nice. Very nice. How think? about you, Joel? I'm gravitating towards the outdoor area. You know, just in front of the pool, yeah. but on the second floor. Right. So I, I think the main floor, or the pool access area, is yeah. awesome. Um, but I kind of like being up a little bit more to get advantage of some of these views yeah and just to uh, kind of be able to hang out again with me just having that kitchen element the dining and the outdoor is kind of my thing yeah, yeah. what about you i think that if it was like the super bowl or something this would be killer oh up Got here it. up here 
you know? Yes. And you got these views, it's all private, you know? You got yeah. maybe if somebody's making some some uh, guacamole. Some, oh. Cantaritos! Cantaritos! Yeah. It could be a great cantarito bar. Yeah, yes. it'd be a great cantarito Definitely. bar. Well, you can hang out here with your homies. I'll be downstairs uh, cooking. Why won't you be with us? Uh, be because I'm gonna be in the. I'll be the chef on that. Ah, okay. That one. Yeah. I'll just be making food and drinking wine. Okay. You'll be yeah. up here drinking beer. And, and I'll be come hungry. check in on the game every uh, every quarter. Okay. I want to thank also the Mexican family that yeah. owns this place. Yeah. They, they actually mentioned they bought it three years ago exactly. Uh -huh. And they renovated since then. And it took them these whole three years to actually get, get all these details done. Yeah. Which they, get, they did a great job. And like you said, very impressive, yeah. right? Very impressive. Well, I, I, I mean, we're just a small channel, right? But I like this should be on like Architect Digest or something, right? We actually should be. <laughs> on that note, and... Um, well, I'm gonna throw this in on this one, but because uh, uh, I'm gonna do it in the live stream. But there's this little dollar sign, and you could like contribute. Like you could give a little comment and send us like what's called a super chat or a super comment, I think it is, and you can give us a little donation. Yeah, you know, nice. anywhere from like, like you know two to two thousand dollars is yeah. like pretty good. But anyways, the <laughs> <laughs> but every little donation, everyone kicks yeah. in a little bit. It helps, and we can actually maybe think about coming back and doing yeah. more content like this. But to be honest, it you know, we have to take almost a week off of our normal jobs and our normal work. Uh, we have flights and, you know, we've got most of the accommodation for free, but it's a, it's a big cost to produce something like this. Yeah. And right. YouTube doesn't really pay us for that. We're so getting there. We're getting you know? there. It's, I mean, it's slowly but slowly. <laughs> but it would help if uh, you want to see more stuff like that. Yeah. If, we, if all of a sudden we start getting a bunch of donations, we'll... Uh, Travel we'll more? we'll try we'll do we'll do more travel. Yeah. Sure. We'll, we'll invest yeah. it back into the channel. Yeah. So we we should set a goal at some point. Yeah. Right. But let's just set a goal to of like getting a few. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. Still and then small. we're not trying to guilt anyone, but it does help us. And if yeah. you if you want to see more interesting stuff like this, then great. And if you don't, well, that's okay too. And the other thing they can do is subscribe, like all our videos, put comments on all our videos, Thumbs and up. that helps too. And a thumbs up. Not notification bell. Uh oh, Danielle's been practicing. Very good. This one was better than the first. <laughs> well, I think we're almost late for our live stream, so we right. better get going. Okay. And on that note, everybody, nos vemos hasta luego and... Adios! Desde San Miguel de Allende. Behind the Mexican Doors. This is where you poop. Ah.